We train to have mastery of our own mind. Welcome, yogis, to the Jai Sugar Method Slow Flow 30 Minute Practice. This is an excellent sequence for after the workout. Maybe if you put the baby down at home and you want to get some yoga on without going too far, excellent 30 minute practice. We'll start by chanting the Guru Mantra together. Bring your hands together. We'll chant the syllable Om and then the mantra in sequence. You guys can listen to me after Om and we'll do call and response. Take a deep breath in. Om. Guru Brahma. Guru Vishnu. Guru Devo Maheshwara. Guru Sakshat. Param Brahma. Das Mai Shri. Gurave Namaha. Om. Take a moment and connect to an intention or something you are grateful for today. And then Hold on to that intention. We'll connect it to the breath and the movement. Relax your arms to the side and look forward, standing up straight. Press into your feet. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Look up at the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. We're just warming up the body here. Inhale, look up and step your right leg back to a lunge and push the heel away from you. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. And exhale, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin to the earth. Inhale, lengthen the torso, point your feet, spread the chest, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the seat to the heels, long waist, and lift the hips up to downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, the left heel pushes back. Exhale, feet together, fold forward, yogis at home, relax the head and neck. Inhale, reach up, close the hands, look up at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. Again, draw the navel in. Inhale, look up, step your left leg back to a lunge, press the heel away. Exhale, right leg back, hip distance apart, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin. Inhale, cobra pose, lengthen the torso. Exhale, tuck the toes, press your seat to the heels, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, look up slightly. Exhale, feet together, fold forward, relax the head and neck. Inhale, reach up, close your hands, and look up. Samastiti he stand straight with the arms to the side. We'll practice Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up, close your hands, look up. Exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. Inhale, lengthen the waist, look up. Step back to plank and lower the body to Chaturanga or Nadi here is gonna lower all the way to the ground. Inhale to Cobra Pose or Upward Dog. Exhale, roll over the toes to downward dog and breathe five times. Inhale, exhale one, breathe in, breathe out two. Now keep that sense of rhythm, even inhale, even exhale. And if the push-up, yogis at home, are too, is too much for you today, you can always lower all the way to the earth. And instead of doing an up dog, just do a light cobra pose for the back bend before going back to downward dog. Now exhale, everyone bend the knees, look up. Inhale, step or jump forward. Your feet come together, lift the chest. And exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, reach up, close your hands and look up. 
Stand straight, some STTH, arms to the side, look forward. Again, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, generating heat now. Inhale, lengthen the waist, everything is even with the breath. Exhale, chaturanga or cobra pose. The low push-up is chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Roll over the toes, downward dog, exhale. Now breathe five times here. And press into the index knuckle. Roll the upper arm bone to the side. Let the shoulder blades draw down the back into the body. And feel long through the waist. And you suck in under the navel to the pelvic floor. And the front of the thighs are engaged, they're strong. And you're making sound with the breath to focus your sense of hearing, to catch a sense of rhythm and timing. It's very important to harness the senses and pull inside as we practice. Bend the knees and look up. Inhale, step or jump forward, feet together, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, reach your arms all the way overhead, close the hands, soften the shoulders. Stand straight, samastitihi, same standing pose. Last one. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, touch the earth. Inhale, look up, long waist. Exhale, chaturanga or cobra pose. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Relax your neck, inhale, and you look at the thighs or the navel. Exhale, two, breathe in, breathe out, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, look up, jump forward, inhale, bow forward, exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. Close your hands and look up. Same standing pose, samastitihi. Surya Namaskar B now, sun salutation B. Inhale, utkatasana, bend the knees, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs. Inhale, the head up. Exhale, chaturanga or lower to the earth. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, back bending. Exhale, downward dog. Now lower the left heel, inhale, step the right foot to warrior one, the hips are forward, look at your thumbs, excellent job, exhale, go down to chaturanga, or as you wish, go all the way to the earth like Nadi is doing here. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, strong right heel, hips forward, look at your thumbs and back bend, exhale, go back down, the rhythm is excellent. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Five deep breaths. Breathe in. <clears throat> Breathe out one. <clears throat> inhale. Exhale two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale. Exhale, four, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, inhale, step or jump forward, feet together, lift the chest, exhale, fold over your legs. Bend the knees and hips, Utkatasana, inhale, stand up, Samastitihi, exhale. One more time, inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, straighten your legs. Inhale the head up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower the body. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, come to downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot to warrior one, reach up. Exhale, go down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out one. Inhale, exhale two. Breathe in, 
Breathe out, three. Inhale, we didn't do the left side? No? Okay, let's do the left side. Step the left foot forward, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, go down, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now we'll take five deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out one. Engage the front of your thighs. Inhale. Exhale two. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, jump forward, inhale. Draw the navel back, fold forward, exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, reach up, Utkatasana. Stand up, Samastitihi. Parangustasana, hold the waist and inhale, spread your feet hip distance apart, open the chest and look up. Exhale, fold forward and catch the big toes with the first two fingers and the thumbs. Inhale, lengthen the waist, look up. Exhale, fold forward as you draw the navel back. Now, yogis at home, be careful to balance the weight between the heel and the ball of the foot. Don't let the energy collapse into the back of the foot. Use your navel to draw in and find a sense of symmetry and balance between the ball and heel of the foot so the weight is distributed evenly as you press into the earth. Breathe in, breathe out, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, look up, parahastasana now, exhale, slide your hands under your feet, step to the wrist, crease. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward, breathing in. Breathe out, one, inhale, exhale, two, breathe in, breathe out, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, head up, free your hands, and we'll take Malasana now, the yogic squat, exhale, feet wider than the shoulders, sit down, press your hands together, inhale, exhale, elbows to the inner knees, lift the navel, breathe in, drop the tailbone, breathe out, look forward, inhale, exhale, two, great job, press into your feet, inhale, Enliven the inner aspect of your legs, the calves and the groins. Exhale, four. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Straighten your legs and bring your feet to touch. Bring them close. Inhale, lengthen the waist. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana or lower to the earth. Inhale, Cobra Pose or Up Dog. Excellent job. Exhale, come to Downward Dog. Inhale, step the right foot to warrior one. Reach up, lift your arms. Exhale, come to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, crease at the hip and reach forward. Exhale, triangle pose, hold your toe or right shin and lift your left arm up. Look at your thumb, breathe in. Breathe out, one. Keep the right ribs over the center of the right thigh. It's a side bend. Two, inhale, exhale, three, breathe in, breathe out, four, inhale, exhale, five, look at the right foot, lift your torso and arms, rise, inhale, take warrior two, exhale, bend the right knee and draw the left hip back, keep your waist long, breathe in, breathe out, one, Inhale, exhale two, breathe in, breathe out three, keep pushing into your feet, feet yogis at home, keep the waist long, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, 
legs. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, take side angle, Utita Parsva Konasana. You may put your hand outside of the foot or on a prop. Reach the left arm over the ear, inhale. And exhale, look at the fingers as you anchor the shoulder into the body. Breathe in. The right arm and right thigh press against one another as the left side of the rib cage lifts. So that pressing into the earth, that pressure makes the body light, stable, and strong. So really connect to the earth through your feet and through the index knuckle of the right hand. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just look to the earth. Inhale, left hand down, pick up the back heel. Exhale, shorten your stance and straighten the right leg. Lengthen your waist, inhale. Pull the right hip back, fold forward, exhale. Now you can see how the prop has different levels and what we're doing here is bringing the earth us up to us so that we create more stability and more safety. When we press down and connect to the earth, the flexibility that happens is an unfolding that comes from holding the body safely so that it feels like releasing because of a sense of trust, a sense of steadiness, a sense of ease. And that comes from that pressing, that connection, that relationship to the earth. You can feel that here in the posture. So it's always good to use props to create more stability. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great job. Inhale, bend your right knee, look up. Exhale, press back to downward dog. Good. Now we'll come to plank pose. Inhale, plank, shoulders over wrist. Exhale, stay here, push your heels back and engage the quadriceps, that's it. Keep the neck long. You can see that all three yogis here are looking forward slightly so as to not strain the suboccipitals at the back of the skull. The elbows are a little soft and the index knuckle is rooting and the lower abdomen is drawn in. One more breath in. And as you breathe out, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck toes, press seat to heels, long waist, downward dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, reach up to warrior one. We'll transition right away. Exhale, press into the feet, open arms and hips, warrior two. And inhale, straighten the left leg, crease at your hip, reach forward. Utita Trikonasana, the triangle pose, exhale. Let's look at the right thumb. Breathe in. One. Inhale. Exhale, two. Breathe in. Three. This time, left ribs over center of left thigh. Four, inhale, exhale, look down. Rise, inhale, lift the torso and arms. Lengthen your stance if it's short. Exhale, bend the left knee over the left ankle, draw the right hip back, keep the waist long. Look at the fingernails, inhale, of the left hand. Exhale, reach strongly through the right arm so the rib cage opens. Breathe in, breathe out two, inhale, Exhale, three, breathe in, breathe out, four, inhale, exhale, five. Super job, straighten the left leg, inhale. Keep weight in the right heel, bend the knee, place the left hand to the outside of the foot. And you can always, again, like if you did on the other side, use a prop. Look at the right fingers, inhale, anchor the shoulder, exhale. Breathe in. Two, breathe in. Lift the right side of the rib cage. Three, inhale. Exhale, four, inhale. Exhale, look to the earth. Inhale, right hand down, pick up the back heel. Exhale, shorten your stance, straighten the left leg. Lengthen the waist, yogis at home, push into your feet. Keep the thighs engaged, pull the left hip back and fold forward over the leg, exhale. Breathe in. One. Inhale. 
Exhale, two. Breathe in. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Super job. Bend the left knee, look up, inhale. And press back to downward facing dog, exhale. Let's come to plank pose, inhale. Stay here, push the heels back, lengthen your neck, draw the navel in, exhale, one. Nice job, soften your elbows a touch so, so they're not locked, two. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower the knees, the chest, and the chin, the hips stay lifted. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, long waist, lift your hips up, downward dog. Take five breaths here. If you've lost the connection to your breath, try to equalize the inhale in duration so it matches the same duration as the exhale. And if you can be as sensitive as to deepen your awareness, perhaps you can feel the volume of air you're breathing. Try to match the volume of air that you inhale to the volume that you exhale. And feel your mind settling down. It can be very beautiful to set our phones to the side and pay attention to our inner life, our psychological plane that we exist on, and to just sort of listen to the body in the present moment as we breathe. Now let's do a little hip opening and then we'll bring the energy down. We'll bring it to a cooling space after opening the hips. Come to plank pose and inhale, bring the left knee into your chest, left knee. Exhale the left ankle behind the right wrist. Your shin is forward. Look up and point the right foot, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, close your hip points and walk it forward. You may pad as Peter is doing with a block or a blanket under the left sitting bone. You wanna square the hips forward. And the right hip is pointing forward because of the tension in the right foot pushing back and pushing into the earth. Inhale, exhale, three. Breathe in, breathe out, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Walk your hands up, inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, swing the right leg around so the right foot is to the outside of the left knee. Now, yogis at home, if it's too much to do it, this twist with the knees bent, you can just extend your left leg, that's accessible too, and flex your left foot. So prop yourself up with the right arm behind you, lengthen the waist, inhale, and exhale, hook your shoulder by the knee, Put pressure on the arm and pressure on the leg and twist to the right and look behind you. Breathing in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Terrific, come forward, inhale. Twist a breath to the left, exhale. Now we'll practice the cow face pose. Inhale, lift your seat and put your right knee on top of the left. You may need a blanket, a bathroom towel, or a block under that butt. As the knees stack, you hold your toes. It's also accessible to do this posture with the left leg forward and the right knee folded above the left knee. Look up, inhale, flex the left foot, bow forward, exhale, relax the head and the neck. Breathing in, one, inhale, two, breathe in, three, Four, five, good job. Lift the torso, lift your chest and stretch the legs forward. Bend the left knee, put the left foot to the sky. Take your hands behind you about eight or 10 inches. Then bend the right knee and place the right ankle 
above the left knee. Flex your right foot, puff up the chest, inhale. And then with the foot flexed, arch your head back as you draw the right knee away from your face. Breathe in. Feel that in the right, right hip, right glute. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Breathe in. Three. Remember the sound in your breath, yogis at home. Four. Five. Okay. Lift your torso, inhale, exhale, put the right foot down. Hold behind the knees and inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale, take boat pose for one. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four and five, bend your knees, swing your legs to the side and go back to downward dog. From there, come to plank pose, bring the right knee into the chest and exhale, right ankle behind left wrist will hit the other side. Look up, inhale, walk it forward, exhale, walk it down. And just like Peter is doing, if this is high intensity for you and you're losing your composure. There's no shame in your game if you use a prop under the right sitting bone to sort of help stabilize the hip, but move the hip points forward. Breathe in. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Walk your hands up. Inhale, lengthen the torso. Exhale, swing the left leg around so that the left foot is to the outside of the right knee. Take your left arm behind you. Prop yourself up nice and long. And exhale, hook the shoulder by the knee or squeeze your knee with the arm and twist to the left. Look behind you. Breathe in. Two, inhale, three, four, five. Come forward, inhale, twist the breath to the right, exhale. Come forward, lift your seat and set the left knee on top, the yogis at home. And remember, you can also straighten your right leg on this. If your knees are stacked, hold your toes in yogi toe lock with the first two fingers and the thumbs. You hold the big toe, look up. Or if your right leg is straight, everyone fold forward. Breathing in. Breathing out. Even breathing, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift the torso, stretch the legs out for a moment, exhale, okay. bend the right knee, put the right foot on the earth, inhale, exhale, left ankle, above the right knee, fingers point towards the toes, they're about, the hands are eight or 10 inches back, puff up your chest. And as you flex that left foot, draw the left knee away from your face as you look up and arch the head back. Breathe in, breathe out two, excellent work, inhale, exhale three, breathe in, four, inhale, Exhale, five. Lift your torso, inhale. Stretch your legs forward. We'll take a forward bend now. Flex the feet. Bring your hands by the waist. Inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Hold your big toes or the shins, or if you have a strap, you belt the balls of the feet. Look up again, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Breathing in. One. Inhale, now keep your thighs engaged here. Exhale, two, breathe in, 
three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five. Okay, rise, inhale, hands down, spread the chest, exhale. And now we'll seal the practice. So come to lay on your backs, lay down on the back. Greg, you may restart the cameras now. We got time? How many minutes is it? I got 13 left on that. Oh, and that too? Yeah, we've got a full 30 left. Super. We'll practice Viparita Karani, and it's just lifting the legs up. Nadi's going to do it without the prop, with just straight legs to the sky. And she'll point her feet, put the right hand on the abdomen, and the left hand on the heart. Look at your toes and breathe about 15 times. Peter and Anastasia will bend their knees, put the feet on the earth, and you place the broad side, if you have a block here, under the tailbone, release the hips, and then lift the legs up, straight up. Point your feet, and same thing, right hand on the abdomen. This is a mudra or energetic seal, and the left hand goes to the heart, and we're trying to cool now and bring the energy inside, 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 to sort of relax and kick on that parasympathetic nervous system response, which is about rest, recuperation, healing, integration, and just really what the overall practice is about is connecting to what we can't see. We're using these practices to tap into our inner world and to allow that to inform our negotiations, our relationship to the outside world. So just look right at the toes and keep breathing and pull the energy inwards. Let your mind start to become easy and unclutch from any duties, any roles that you play. If you have a gratitude practice, perhaps again reconnect to something you are grateful for here and beginning to feel the absence of tension that this breathing practice can give us, which is a prerequisite for the state we're pursuing, which is the state of yoga, the state of missing nothing, wanting nothing, and being happy and content with ourselves as we are now. So go ahead and bend your knees, put your feet on the earth. If you have a prop, lift the seat, remove the block, and let's go ahead now and practice the fish pose. Lengthen your legs. We're going to stretch the throat, the platysma under the chin, the chest, the area around the heart. Catch the side of your hips. Press into the elbows. Expand the chest. And place the top of the head down. And then draw your elbows down the back. Turn your palms up. And the shoulders are away from the ears. The breath is audible, but the sound is coming down now as you start to become more tranquil, even though this practice is happening in the heart, the pulsating heartbeat of New York City Union Square. We're dropping into that vibration of our own inner rhythm. Okay, so we're setting our inner rhythm so that we can respond to the world from our own space rather than react to the world. Now press into your elbows, lift your chest, and release your body to the earth. We'll practice the final posture, the corpse pose. You can release your legs and your feet, turn your palms up, and surrender now, yogis at home, surrender your body to the sense of no relationship to gravity. You're relaxing your relationship to gravity. You don't have to hold yourself up. Just let go of the breath, let go of those inner locks, that self-control, and feel Mother Earth supporting you and cradling you as you let go completely of the roles that you play duties, obligations, deadlines, let go. And allow yourself to be totally at ease and 
allow yourself to stay here for as long as you need, but a minimum of five to seven minutes so that the hormones can balance themselves, so that the acids, the metabolites of respiration can clear away, and so that the body can find homeostasis. But more importantly, we want to absorb the cosmic energy, the chi or the prana that surrounds us at all times. We want to bring that back into ourselves so that we feel completely energized. So stay here at least five or seven minutes and I'll chant the mantra again to seal our experience, okay? So rest and relax. This is Shavasana, the corpse pose. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri, Gurave Namaha, Om. Stand up, please. We're going to chant the mantra call and response again because it wasn't clean. And then let's get out of this room. And I may do an intro. Oh, I did a good intro. Let's uh, call and response. I know you're relaxed. It feels good. It feels good. I know. I know. I know. Muy bien, Sershin. Ready? For Om, breathe in. Om. Guru Brahma. <clears throat> Guru Vishnu. Guru Devo. Maheshwara. Guru Sakshat. Param Brahma. Tasmai Shri. Gurave Namaha.